Welcome to Just Stories. We hope you enjoy our short story. The Kalmar War was a series of conflicts that took place in the late 14th and early 15th centuries between the kingdoms of Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. The war was sparked by a dispute over control of the strategically important city of Kalmar, located on the southern coast of Sweden. The war began in 1389, when Denmark and Norway jointly invaded Sweden, seeking to claim Kalmar and the surrounding area for themselves. The Swedish king, Albert, was caught off guard by the sudden attack and was quickly defeated. With Kalmar now under Danish and Norwegian control, the two kingdoms began to divide up the conquered territory between themselves. However, things did not go as smoothly as Denmark and Norway had hoped. The Swedish people, led by a nobleman named Engelbrecht, rose up in rebellion against the foreign occupiers. Despite being outnumbered and outmatched, Engelbrecht and his followers were able to launch a series of successful raids and ambushes against the invaders, slowly pushing them back. In 1397, Denmark and Norway made the mistake of splitting their forces, with one army sent to deal with Engelbrecht while the other remained in Kalmar to defend the city. Engelbrecht saw an opportunity and launched a surprise attack on the weakened Danish and Norwegian army in Kalmar, successfully capturing the city. With Kalmar back in Swedish hands, the tide of the war began to turn. Engelbrecht's forces continued to gain momentum, and by 1402 they had driven the Danish and Norwegian armies out of Sweden entirely. The war ended with the Treaty of Kalmar, which was signed in 1409. Under the terms of the treaty, Denmark and Norway recognized Sweden's sovereignty over the city of Kalmar and the surrounding area. The treaty also established a union between the three kingdoms, with the Danish king serving as the head of the union. The Kalmar War was a significant event in the history of the Nordic countries, as it marked the first time that Sweden had successfully defended itself against foreign invaders. The war also laid the foundation for the Kalmar Union, which would last for more than a century and play a major role in the politics and history of the region. The Kalmar War also have a profound impact on the economy, society, and culture of the Nordic countries. The war had a negative impact on trade, as the cities and ports were destroyed and the merchants were forced to flee. The war also had a great impact on the population, as many people were killed, enslaved, or forced to flee. The war also had a great impact on the culture, as many cultural artifacts were destroyed and the people were forced to adapt to the new realities. Despite the negative impact of the war, it also had some positive effects. The war brought the three kingdoms closer together, and the union established by the Treaty of Kalmar helped to promote peace and stability in the region. The war also led to the development of a strong sense of national identity among the Swedish people, as they had successfully defended their homeland against foreign invaders. In conclusion, the Kalmar War was a pivotal moment in the history of the Nordic countries, shaping the political and cultural landscape for centuries to come. It was a brutal and destructive conflict, but it also brought about important changes that would shape the future of the region. The war serves as a reminder of the devastating impact of war, but also of the resilience and determination of the human spirit. Thank you for watching our short story. Please don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next video drop.